Hi, I'm Sid Smith, and with me today is Neil Stone. We have just come from the opening session where we presented the 2018 guidelines for blood cholesterol lowering, sponsored by the AHA and ACC, but many other groups were involved, Neil. And of course, you are the vice chair. You've got to be happy about this. Yes, I, I think we're very excited that uh, the acceptance has, has been so strong and that uh, the new uh, science that we can bring to the guidelines so now clinicians have a better handle on topics such as non-fasting is okay for screening. Number two, for secondary prevention, uh, we've defined a, a new very high risk category for whom adding a medication like azetamibe and in the, the, uh, the most severe cases even a PCSK9 inhibitor and then in, in primary uh, prevention, being able to uh, give special consideration to the uh, clinician-patient risk discussion, to be able to give the clinician more tools to help a patient truly understand his or her risk, and then finally to come up with a very uh, good way to reclassify risk if the decision is uncertain, and that is to try uh, in certain people a coronary calcium scan. Yeah, I think the calcium scan is really going to be a nice and very helpful addition. Yeah, we uh, want to emphasize that we didn't we didn't recommend it for screening. No, no, this, this but is it's a, a tiebreaker. It's a tiebreaker, a decision aid, and I think in those cases we're going to have patients very happy that they have really under have taken a step to really understand what their risk is. So now the challenge is implementation, and that means getting everyone to join in on this and uh, make a difference for patients in their lives. And, and I would just like to add that if we could get our lifestyle message across for people in their uh, teens and 20s and 30s, maybe we wouldn't need such complex guidelines in the, in the future. Primary prevention will avoid secondary prevention, that's for sure, that's if we're exactly, effective. Exactly.